Hello and welcome to part, I believe it is, 12 of Vectorland. In this episode we are going to be making a, I'm hoping for like, 105 foot tall GCI wooden coaster for this kind of bottom corner of the park there. And just the layout, probably not going to do much else because making coaster layouts takes a long time. That's probably the only thing going to do in this episode. The last episode made the scenery and I think I made the entrance sign for this ride yesterday too. It looks very pretty. I like it a lot. Next episode I'm probably going to work on the frontier because I honestly kind of forgot about it. But as for this episode, just the GCI. I want it to be big but like not too big. I also want to make a gravity group family wooden coaster. I don't really want this to be the only wooden coaster in the park. 104 feet, it's going to be one of the larger GCIs. Oh, I also kind of wanted this to be a terrain coaster. I'm not very good at shaping GCI curve to drops. Of course it's not going to make it, it's a friggin... Man, why didn't I think about that? Okay... Low bank turn... Looks good... Perfect amount of air time. It's a little bit powerful. Oh shoot, that's the edge of the map. Let me redo this. So far this layout is not working out as well as I thought it would. Good air time. Okay, I will figure this out. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be honest, I do not like this layout, so I might just redo it. Like it looks cool, I just don't like it. Okay, let's see how this new layout's working. I'm liking this layout a lot more than the other one. The other one just wasn't feeling right. Doesn't make any sense. so far. This thing is flying. Holy moly. Okay. Let's see if this station flyby is good. It's pretty late in the ride, so I don't know how well it'll work. I mean, it works, it's very slow, do I want it, do I need the station flyby, nah, I don't, like it worked, but it's just like, nah, I'm kind of stumped when I get to this part, 
This is very weird. How do I get out of this? I like the layout. It's just I get to this part and there's nothing I can do. So we'll see what we'll see what I come up with. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. Oh, this looks a little too forceful. Actually, I'm going to smooth this ride. Like, even though it's not done, I'm going to smooth it. 13, 14. Okay, I want to see how it's running. Decent. It's this part right here that I'm worried about. Yeah, I think that goes through it a little bit too fast. I don't know why, but I'm like stumped. I don't know, like, it's pretty annoying actually. I cannot figure out what to do with this ride. Like, I have already spent the same amount of time as it took for me to design a freaking massive BNM invert. This so far, you know, I'm not. I'm probably not even halfway done, but it's taken me longer than making this thing. So yeah, it's a little bit annoying. I would like to have, like have some ideas. I don't know why I can't think of right now. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna restart. I. Do not know why I cannot think. So for you guys, I probably will have cut it up a bit. Um, that'll probably have been like I don't know four or five minutes for you guys, but it's been an hour of recording, man. Should I make one of those massive GCIs like Mountain Flyer? Might do that. Mountain Flyer, also known as Wood Coaster in China. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do one of those. A uh, hundred feet off the ground. This is gonna be a much less traditional GCI. So this is what, attempt number three at building a GCI? This is actually going, this is, that actually looks really fun. This whole airtime hill, bro, is like negative 0 0.2. Jeez, throughout the entire thing. That looks like so much fun. I'm trying to make this the best GCI. So I gotta beat Mystic Timbers, I gotta beat Mountain Flyer, I gotta beat Python and Bamboo Forest. Those are probably the top three in the world. I bet that I might want to kind of model this to be tight in track. Okay, let's see how this is working. This is really good, I think. How much 
speed does this have going into the last part? Oh, not a lot of speed at all. I'm gonna redo this a little bit. Now, does it make it back to the station? This ride's gonna be fairly short in terms of ride time, but like track length, it should be fairly long. It's just, it's gonna have such insane pacing. So it does make it back, just not with much speed. So it's probably gonna hug the ground, and then it'll pop up into the brakes. Okay, first test run. I'm most likely gonna change the shaping for the middle of the ride a little bit. Oh wow, that actually was decent speed into the brake run. So yeah, it's only 3,200 feet long, which is not long even for like a normal size wooden coaster standard. But this ride, like, absolutely flies. So I'm pretty sure the ride time is like really short, probably like maybe even shorter than a ride like Raven. But as for the layout, I really like it. It has that kind of GCI flair to it with like just straight, very shallow hills, some like low to the ground desk bends, these weird kind of airtime pops into corners. Yeah, I just like this. Okay, now to smooth it, I'm not doing 1.5 meter because this is the wooden coaster. And I feel like that's just a little too smooth for a wooden coaster. But, over here, this kind of turn around thing here, starting from about here to about there, I might make this Titan track, so painting it basically white, and then turning it into 1.5 meters, so this part's smoother than the rest of the track. 11, 12, 13, 14. This also reminds me, I'm going to make the wood of this look more new. Because all these rides are supposed to be brand new, but this wood looked like it was old. Oh wait, I didn't smooth the pre-lift. Okay, let me smooth the pre-lift real quick, and then, then I shall test it. Okay, so first test run with it smoothed. Let's see how smooth it is. This looks very GCI. sequence of airtime from this hill all the way down to here. That's how many airtime moments there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven airtime moments in quick su succession. But there's also this weird like, I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I shaped this kind of weird. So it's like a normal airtime hill and then it kind of levels out a little bit and then it kind of kinks on the way down right about there so I'll smooth that out or try oh there we go Time moments.
points does this have? And it stays under 0.5, geez, right? I think that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Titan Track on the spot that I wanted there to be Titan Track, which is this whole section. And then I'll come back to you guys after I'm done with that. So I finished converting this entire turn into 1.5 meter. And if you don't know what that means, I've said it in previous episodes, but I'll just say it one more time. Um, so I built the whole ride in 3 meter pieces using mods, blah blah blah. <sighs> so what you have to do is you have to delete every piece that you want to convert, like one at a time, make it 1 meter, auto-complete it, and then spam smooth it, and then now these pieces are 1.5 meter because there's two pieces in the same spot that there were one, no, that there were three meter pieces. So, that's what I did. So now I'm just going to smooth it and then I'm going to color it to look like Titan Track, and then that'll probably be it for this video. Okay, now that I put Titan Track on it, I'll test the Titan Track. Yeah, that's really nice. So this ride is technically a hybrid coaster since it's a hybrid between steel and wood. But I think most people, for most people, this is just a wooden coaster. So this ride has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen airtime moments in such a short ride. So that's gonna be it for this video. Next video, like I said, I'm not even gonna be working on this GCI, I'm gonna be working on the kind of front area of this park but then after that I'll work on this ride which should be pretty cool so see you next episode thanks for watching goodbye